Radio VL, premier média de jeunes en France. Julia, Julia Wicker, um, you know, she's, uh, she's super, super, uh, you know, smart, uh, intellectual, academic, um, driven, passionate, and, um, and just, we get to see her evolve as a human um, and sort of be stripped of these, um, these, these facades that she's had on for a very long time and, and, and get to the truth of, of who she really is or get to figure that out with her. Yeah, uh, and I play Quentin, uh, who is, I think, like obviously, like clinically depressed and and existentially depressed and and uh, and perpetually disappointed. Um, and I, I think we get to see him in this period in his life where he's really like trying to band aid all of his problems. Uh, and I think right towards the end, we're seeing those band aids like just like ripped off of him and him having to cope with that and and come to terms with really kind of like who he is, I think. Um, and so, season two, I think, will be really uh, interesting. We'll see what happens. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I think that, you know, the, the recurring theme is magic and they share that. You know, it's been comparable to like Narnia. Some people say it's um, like Brett Easton Ellis, the author of American Psycho meets Harry Potter. I think that's a little bit more, it's, it's darker. It's, um, it's more mature. It's, it's, it shows a lot of sexuality and, and you know, fluidity and reality, um, which I, I think it, it works in our favor. Yeah, I mean, I think we've certainly, Lev Grossman, the uh, writer of the novels, has certainly been inspired by, by Harry Potter and by Narnia and, and Lord of the Rings and all of the great fantasies mm. that we have today. And I think you see that in the books. Um, and it's so much so that you, we have these characters who have read uh, you know, all of Lord of the Rings and, 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 uh, are in, and probably watch The Walking Dead you know, and are, are immersed in the world of fantasy today. Um, and I guess the story is sort of unique in 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 that way. But it is um, uh, it's more than just just Harry Potter for grown-ups. I think it's all encompassing. It, it's it's an influenced by uh, by a lot, and is also its own uh, spin on it. Yeah, I think a lot of things in the show are sort of flipped on its head. I, I, I don't know that I would call like Julia the, the bad one necessarily, but she definitely goes down a, a, a darker path. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know if it's, if, it's, if it's good versus bad. I think it's more of just like the internal struggle of being a human and, um, and finding out that magic is real and then all of the things that occur af thereafter. Um, and sort of just like that constant... Um, struggle from within, you know, w when I have all of this power or, or when I see all of these things that I've never seen before, like, what do I, what do I do inside? Do I do, do I do the right thing? Do I do what I want to do in that moment? Um, you know, I, I think, I think that it's hard to say. I, and I like that, I like that we get to explore that with Julia and see that not everything is, is perfect. And you don't just get to do magic and it gets to be this beautiful experience. It's, it can actually, you know, be this very hard um, and awful thing, as well as like a, a fun, beautiful thing. Yeah, I, I like that this world is sort of full of ambiguity. Um, there is no clearly defined good and bad. You right. know, we don't even have like a real bad guy. Like, I, I don't know if you've finished the season, but um, well, uh, you know, like it, it, our bad guy might not be a bad guy. Our mm -hmm. bad guy is a guy who very easily could have been Quentin. You know, it's this person who was passionate about this place, about this idea, and and got what he wanted, and then someone tried to take it away from him. And so he's just trying to hold on to the thing that he loves, and in doing so, um, hurts other people along the way, but but uh, it, it's gray, right? Everything's gray, and that's, that's what makes, I think, this world uh, relatable and, and, and feel so grounded in reality. Because here, we, I mean, you know, like we don't have what's good and what's bad. I mean, everyone has it from, from everyone's individual perspective.
Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Which we don't get to see. We don't get to see that enough. I feel like I think that's so great that our show does do that. You know, we it, 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 you can't just do something that um, isn't necessarily great and reap benefits like sometimes, you know, or you can do something and it might not be that great. And I love that. I, I like that we get to show that because yeah. that's like life. Yeah. Well, the in the idea that like you would hope magic would be sort of a fix all for your life. Like, right. oh great, I'm depressed and I hate everything, and if I could just have this thing that I could just like click my fingers and I would feel happy, and and I'd suddenly have friends and everything would be great. Uh, but it's just like nothing is really that easy. There's no uh, instant gratification, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, fun terrible. to play. It's terrible, but it's, it's terrible like fun to play. they know I think that it's a constant ebb and flow I think that they they're still figuring all of that out and you know they may feel a certain way at a certain time or had felt a certain way in the past and that might shift again and when friends don't see each other for a long time or when wrongdoings have happened it's sort of like we pick up the pieces where we left off we make it work and I don't know what I don't know um, where that stands as of now going into season two yeah, I like that each of them kind of like know something different about their relationship. Like, I think from Julia's perspective, they're like good childhood friends. They're best friends, or best were, friends. you know. And from Quentin's perspective, they're unrequited lovers, you know. Like, and and I think he feels like spited by that in a way. Uh, uh, Played, yeah. Yeah, um, and I, I don't know. It like you said, I, it, it's another element of this story that is gray and and, and in sort of a constant evolution. Um, we 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 um, the season is structured in such a way where we 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 come we open with them together and we get to see them sort of like at their best and worst uh, and then separate for a long time and go on like very separate journeys uh, all we I think a after the same goal ultimately um, but go about it in two very different ways and then come back together uh, having learned so <laughs> too much yeah yeah, yeah. Well, like almost too much about the world and 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 how their relationship shifts and change because of this new information. Yeah. That's realism, you know, he, he wasn't necessarily in a good place, so. Yeah, um, yeah, I, you know, like, I don't think he smiled <laughs> until episode six. I remember the first time it was written in the script, uh, like, Quentin laughs, and, and I was like, Oh God! I don't know how Quentin laughs. I don't know what that <laughs> means. I don't know how he smiles. Is it like, like, like? <laughs> yeah. Is it awkward or is it like? What's his honest version of that? Uh, and so something just sort of like happened. Well, I, I haven't watched it, so I don't know. <laughs> oh gosh, a teenager or a child? You go first. Uh, I'm, I'm, I know I'm stuck right now. Uh, what did I watch a lot of? I watched a lot of, um, you know, that show on Nickelodeon, Salute Your Shorts. Oh, yes, and Rocco's Modern Life and Rocco. Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, yes. yeah, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon was like a big cool. part of my life. And hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> and the night, what was the campfire night? Are You Afraid of the Dark? Ooh. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Actually scary. Terrifying. Terrifying. I hope it holds up. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs>